page six. Come on in. Your husband's in the pool. You guys are in my favorite room in the entire house. I call it the ballroom, living room, great room, whatever you want to call it. But this is the reason we bought this house. When I saw this room, it had a sunken living room. It was like old and grand, but I saw the potential. I was like, this could be so high Hollywood, Hollywood Regency, which is totally my style because I'm all about maximalism, colors, and vintage Hollywood. So that was my inspiration for this house. And I have my wall of um, Hollywood stars, which I just absolutely adore. I love black and white photography. That's my favorite type of artwork. This table is very special to me and I'm never going to be able to get rid of it because Joe made it for me. When we first got together, I saw a live edge table and I was like, I have to have that table. It was like $25,000 or something. He's like, Marge, you're not spending that. I'll make it for you. And I was like, Joe, you will. So he made me this table. It has the Lucite legs and it, it just works. It has a feeling of natural mixed with modern uh, 70s. So I just adore it. And I'm always going to keep it. I'll just have to keep updating the chairs. I mean, that's the best plan. Also, the paneling in this room used to be brown, but I was like, let me just paint it black. I, I was like, I'm not taking down the paneling. I didn't, I thought it was a natural feature of the home. So I thought black would just make it look a little hipper and I think it works perfectly. So this is my kitchen. Now, it's very big. It wasn't when we moved into this house. It was split in two. There's a huge chimney here. It took us forever to do it. I don't even know how I lived in that kitchen. But believe it or not, it had this amount of cabinets, this amount of wall cabinets. Everybody who comes here, we hang out in here. I actually do cook, uh, you know, not as much as I would like or as much as Joe would like, but I just think it's just such a good vibe. And this is really funny. This is a Slim Aaron's, this photo. And everybody who comes over is like, Marge, who is that? And I'm like, how the hell would I know who it is? It's a, it's a famous photograph. Everybody knows I'm an iced coffee drinker, a coffee drinker. Um, I drink coffee constantly. The first thing Joe does when he gets up in the morning is turn on my coffee machine so I can have my coffee. But the flanker is what's in the refrigerator. Not a lot of food, but a ton of creamer. Okay, maybe it's a little embarrassing, but I have no other vices. Forgive me. This is my office. I, I needed it bright, fun, and everybody knows, well, maybe everyone doesn't know, but if you don't know, now you know. I love wallpaper. Um, this reminds me of the Beverly Hills Hotel, but like in full living color because it's pink, orange, fun. I need to feel inspired when I'm designing my product lines or just working with Lexi, who we're with together all the time. I love to come in here. It's right off the kitchen, so I have easy access to food. I just love it. And I, you know, I love everything to be the same print or tones of the same print. We even did, you know, I had an old chair that I upholstered in the same fabric. This is our little soiree refrigerator. We did the same, you know, all our chairs. I mean, I got orange apple computers. We just, we just, everything. I just love this room so much. Uh, I probably should get curtains because people could see it which we will do eventually. And then of course these, I'm constantly getting boxes. This is all my Laura Geller beauty. So this is where I open up everything that I get, all my little gifting. Um, I want you to see I have my Peloton in here because I should be doing my workouts. Joe and I were in Charleston and Patricia had us over for drinks and to hang out. And she had a custom wreath and I was like, I must have that. I wrote to them. They're like, Marge, we love you and Joe, my friends, uh, David Parker Kennedy. And I was like, okay. And they made one and it's and it's it says Joe, it says Marge, and this Barbie wreath, it's out all year round. And I just adore Barbie. You could say I have Barbie photos up there. And they made me this wreath. So I just I just love it so much. And when I look at it, I, I just get so happy. This is considered the library. It's a little sitting room. It's cozy. When I entertain, we like to sit in here, uh, light a little fire. It's just so great. This is a great fall winter room. Totally teeny off my office. People don't even know it exists. I just feel like it's so comfy. Sometimes um, people sleep over. They'll like sleep on that little sofa. They just they just love it. We curl up in here, read a book. It's so it's just a great room. It's a dark, sexy little room. Uh, if you play chess, you can play chess in here. I, I keep a lot of uh, objet art in here. 
but I just want to say one of my favorite things when I wrote my book, uh, Caviar Dreams, Tuna Fish Budget, Chicken of the Sea made me a custom Swarovski encrusted can of tuna fish. Is that not the cutest thing you've ever seen? I will hold this as one of my prized possessions forever. Um, isn't that great? This is my closet. Um, again, it's the fluted wood, which I love. And I figured I don't want to just do such a cookie color. It's like a nudie, blushy pink, all custom, again, with the oversized brass handles. But everything's color coordinated, which I love so much. I And everybody knows I love print. I mean, because I wear a lot of print. I could be a little Mrs. Roperish, but what's wrong with that? I'm vintage barn. I love this, my crochet sweater. These are my Tom Ford favorite shoes. I've worn these, I think, I might have worn them to two reunions, believe it or not. Or maybe one reunion, last reunion. They're my favorite shoes ever. A little lock on them. But they're they're just a great classic shoe, Tom Ford. I think he remakes them every season. They're one of my favorite shoes ever. Maybe two reunions ago. One of my favorites. Everybody makes fun of me when I wear these, these Gucci's, because they're such a big platform. Like Marge, they're too big here. But I love them. These are one of my favorites, all time favorites. I love my bathroom so much. I want it to feel like an enclosed little spot. It's not, it's not huge, it's not big. We kept it the way the original house was. You had to walk through my closet. There's no windows, but it's our little sanctuary for me and Joe. A lot of people know that Joe and I shower together. So it was important that we had double shower heads, which I thought was so funny. So we do two fixtures. Um, we have two shower heads. So he's on one side and I'm on the other in our steam shower. And the other thing is, a lot of people do clear shower doors, but I thought it was sexier to do dark smoky shower doors. It's not, this is a bronze smoke, not um, a gray smoke, because bronze went better with this marble that we have. So I thought that would look a lot better. Because I love the 70s so much, I wanted this little powder room to feel like you're going into a nightclub, dark, sexy. Everyone's like, I can't see myself peeing, but I'm like, that's okay. Just, you know what, try not to pee on the floor. So it's really dark in here. I will turn on the other light so you can see. So the wallpapers, snake skin, I have the Elton John picture. It's just so cool. But my favorite thing is my friend, Alan Doug, got me this great um, Andy Warhol original Studio 54. Um, VIP like pass framed, which I just love so much because I'm so disco and Studio 54, so this was a great gift. I just I think it's crazy. Um, so it makes me so happy. So I hung it in my Studio 54 type bathroom, my dark, sexy little powder room.